Hello friends, this is a DIY or buy video, let's begin. Recently I bought this tester from China and that's why I decided to make this video. So this is a tester for uh, laptop elements. It's, uh, I bought it very cheap, was about 7 USDs. And I've received in uh, three weeks. Now let's see what this does. Even this has uh, two batteries. One battery, left battery, it's for power supply. And uh, right battery, it's for test. Now let's begin comparison. Let's begin with old one, with DIY. I made this project two or three years ago to test uh, laptop batteries like this. And it's very simple to, to do. You can find the schematic and the software on the internet. It's very simple project. You can do it in one or two hours. Now let's uh, start the plus and the minus of each one. What I like about uh, DIY is that uh, you can modify the software and you can adapt this for different projects. I uh, made a video modifying this project from uh, one element to 12 volts battery. And now I have other project and I can test uh, the capacity of uh, any 12 volts battery. What I also like is the fun. Making a project like this is very fun and it's challenging. This will be very easy to do with a PCB, professional PCB, but I use a test board like this because uh, initially I made this only for test, but you know the Murphy is low, any improvisation will remain permanent. What I don't like uh, about this is that you need uh, external power for Arduino and it's not uh, as beautiful as another one but it's very versatile. With this uh, tester I've measured a lot of batteries and you can see this pack has a 6000 milliamp hour capacity. Now let's talk about this new one. What I don't like is that uh, I don't have the menu in English. I have uh, the, men the text only in Chinese and I don't speak Chinese. So first button, it's on off. Let's turn off. Now let's turn on. This one is a uh, mode button and third one it's a uh, function button. So we have now we are on the first uh, menu. We have discharge, auto and the charge. I forgot to mention on this DIY first version I need external BMS to charge the battery. But uh, this uh, professional module has included the uh, charger for both batteries. In uh, this uh, USB-C connector you can uh, insert a USB charger and will charge both batteries. Now let's get back to this uh, tester. So first mod is charge, charge, discharge and auto. If you will use auto mod 
we'll uh, first charge and then we'll discharge the battery automatically. On this DIY, you have to make this step by step. But this knows how to do it automatically. And uh, second uh, option, it's uh, stop voltage. I set this 2.9 volts to not damage the battery. And the third function is the loop. You can, se you can set from 1 to 9 loops. Now let's uh, put on this charge. And now let's start. Now you can see the current consumption is almost 1 amp. And the voltage on this battery. Battery is discharged because I, may, I made a lot of tests on this battery. What I like uh, about this uh, tester is that with green you can see internal resistance of the battery. This DIY doesn't show internal resistance. You can see this one is uh, 98 milliohms. Now let's measure another battery. Now let's measure this battery. Let's exchange batteries. You have to be careful when you insert the battery plus and the minus. Now you can see this one has a smaller internal resistance. I have only 72 milliohms. So, the, I've told you the advantages of this uh, professional uh, tester. And now let me tell you the minuses of this. What I don't like is that you can't uh, modify the software. This it is what it is. You can use this to measure another one. This is dedicated tester. You can use only for these uh, batteries. I have to tell you that I've measured uh, this battery with old one and with uh, new one. And the value was the same. So they both have the same quality. Now please uh, tell me in the comment which version you like most. DIY or buy and why. If you have any questions please put it in a comment. And if you made it so far please give a big like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.